What about working with women like that really astonishes and excites you? We're just phenomenal. <laughs> we are. We're just really great, aren't we? <laughs> really what it is. It's even in the midst of exhaustion, even in the midst of being really tired, really good work is still being done, that things are still happening. That's what amazes me. And so when I step into working with an organization, when I step into working with, you know, a woman who is in a leadership position and making things happen, it's imagine what that would look like if you were actually rested. Like imagine what If you are making these really good things happen, if you're being impactful in the space that you're in, what would that look like for yourself? And what would that look like from your community if you were rested? Mm. Because that to me is a part of like thriving. You know, it's one thing for an agency to to survive and to be, to be moving and to like check the boxes, but the ability for a person to dream, the ability for a group of people to like go beyond just good work, but like great work and envisioning that comes from rest. That comes from the time to take care of yourself. And so what excites me is that time is personal in coaching. It's the time that says I've dedicated this to myself. So I have a coach myself. And so if I like need to cry, if I'm (laughs) exhausted, you know, Shabani Gambier will look at me and say, okay, let's look at your calendar and let's take some stuff off before the day is out. Or I have a revelation that is so helpful to me. And it's literally because I took the time to pause and rest that I can be creative and I can, this thing that I've been wanting to do for six months, when I finally took the time for me, the answer comes so quickly. Mm. And I think that is what's exciting and astonishing about the work I do is when you set aside the space and you have a time, kind of like good soil, when you are, when it's good soil and it's good ground and you don't mess with the seeds, something can actually grow. And that's what I love about, about the work that I do. And that's what I see about like rest as, as, as revolutionary. It's, it's that reason. Yeah. It's just, it's so foundational. And if you think about, you know, the soil, you know, you start, you start with building up the soil with rest and then think about like, then you can start thinking about all these other inputs, like what kind of seeds are going in there and, you know, how are you watering it? (laughs) Are you hydrating? What kind of food are you eating? All these things. And you're right. I think it, it really just has to start with that, creating that space and time for yourself. Yeah. 